gender inequality, an issue advocated against by many and considered a violation of human rights. But what do we try and do to stop it? I believe that equality is hard to come by, but that uh, as a society we are moving forward in a way that overrides that and taking efforts to uh, combine everyone and be as equal as possible. Is there sexism? Does sexism occur to the young adults and children? Or does it only take place in the adult world? I know in like my class specifically, I do feel there's gender inequality. I was wearing long johns the other day, and I did not feel comfortable leaving the house with them, even though, sir, uh, even though girls leave the house with leggings all the time. I mean, when you think about it, there's no real difference, is there? So, obviously some people believe that there's a gender divide between men and women. Why is that? Is there some sort of big denominator, big differential between men and women? I mean, women have to be professional, but at the same time, have the standard of being beautiful. That's the standard. But also, because of like um, so many years of like gender inequality, they also have to be like professionally, um, like intact, but as well like beautifully intact. It's like, it's like this whole thing going on, and you don't know, and it's difficult to know like. Wait, where's the border between the two? I take a shower, I put on clothes, and I'm out the door. Women, they have to put on makeup, jewelry, lipstick, and a bunch of other stuff I don't want to know about. Because women feel like they have to be pretty, because otherwise society won't accept them. Sexism is not a natural thought. It does not just stem from someone's mind. It's taught to them. Children are not naturally taught to hate and discriminate. They are naturally inclined to love and accept. When people are kids, they do not notice the difference between whites, blacks, Filipinos, or Asians. They just notice other kids. Later on, when the child develops, the child learns from other people that there is a difference. That this is exactly the same with gender sexes. Although they might not be aware of it, adults are subconsciously teaching their children that men and women should be treated differently. This is a letter written to the Lalu Company by a seven-year-old girl named Charlie Benjamin. This little girl, Charlie Benjamin, had a problem. When she went to the Lego store, she saw that it was divided into two sections, pink for girls and blue for boys. She said that all the girl Legos did was go to the beach, sit at home, or shop. The guy Legos had jobs, saved people, and went on adventures. Charlie Benjamin simply requested that the Lego company make more girl toys and allow them to go on adventures and have fun, not stick to the mandated curriculum that society provides for her and play with the classical games all girls should play with. This small example of Lego toys shows us a great deal. This company, who is providing toys for small children, is already deciding what profession they should be solely based on their gender. When children are children, they do not consider one sex greater than another. They consider themselves equal. Then, they are influenced by their surroundings and start to believe that they are not equal. As kids, the boys are always given the race cars and the toys, when the girls are always given the dolls and the coloring books. On TV, the male is always the protagonist or superhero, while the female is always the sidekick or the girlfriend. The child always sees the father going out to shovel the driveway, and never the mother. The child always sees the mother, putting on makeup every morning, but never the father. These examples are not concrete, but they help emphasize a point. At a young age, children are taught to differentiate between man and woman. As they grow older, this philosophy goes stronger. They start to believe that one sex is better than the other. This is where sexism emerges. Mistreatments of sexes emerges by the philosophies taught subconsciously by the older generations. The, there are adults out there fighting for human and gender equality. They're trying to convince other adults that it is wrong, but maybe they're speaking to the wrong crowd. Old habits die hard. It's extremely hard to tell someone not to differentiate between sexes when they've been doing that all of their life. Maybe it's better to speak to the younger generation, to the people who have not firmly developed their ideas yet. Talk to the people who influence the younger generation. Try and promote gender equality. And if you're a kid my age or younger, Know that if we want to make this a good and fair world, there not, must not be just gender equality, but full equality. The responsibility lies on us not to be influenced by the stereotypical propaganda that lies around us. If there is hope for gender equality, it lies on us. Our generation, right now.